Greetings, heroes. I'm Hercules0070, and today we're upgrading my PC. If you have any questions, post your comments down below. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. So I have a Dell XPS 420. I have three hard drives. One, two, and the third one's up here. I have an AMD Radeon HD 670 with an Intel quad-core processor running at 2.40 gigahertz, and it has a 600 watt power supply. I ordered eight gigs in total, two gigs per a stick of RAM. I have four slots. Make sure you do not forget your ESD wristband, that is electrostatic discharge wristband. You attach the metal clip to a metal brim of the case, and then you put the wristband around your wrist, making sure the center is touching your skin. This will ground you to the computer, preventing you from statically charging something and breaking the inside of the computer. Some of the major components are sensitive to static discharge. You want to go through and push all of the clips on either side of the RAM. There are white and black clips on either side, securing it to the motherboard. Make sure that you loosen those, make sure they are unsnapped. You do not want to try to pull on those while they are secured tightly to the motherboard. So first I'm going to tell you, when you go to put your RAM inside of your computer, make sure that you put one in the white sockets and the other in the black sockets because I tried putting in them together and it did not work. You would think that because if they're the same type, you ordered them both the same time, the same model, the same size, everything, that they would both work no matter where you put them. But no, you have to put one box in the white sockets and one box in the black sockets. So there's my tutorial, now here's my review. Um, it is really all on you. You have to make sure that your computer is compatible with the RAM that you're purchasing. Uh, something that was really cool that came in the package is that um, it told you that you need to be careful with ECC, which basically you have to make sure that there's a difference between your server RAM and the RAM that is for desktops for your home computer. Now, you want to make sure that your home computer desktops are non-ECC. If you get a RAM that is ECC, it is for uh, servers and for non-home computers. So you have to make sure that when you buy your memory that it is non-ECC. They say that is the most common issue that they have with people calling and having problems with their RAM. So um, that's a big thing. It's really on you. Uh, but they delivered it a couple days early. So they're good on transportation. Uh, it worked. I have no problems. Uh, but I was lucky enough to find RAM with the name of my computer in it. So it was, I knew that it was going to be compatible. But when you go into the comments, you can actually ask questions on Amazon and ask, put your computer in there say, hey, will this work with my desktop? And you'll get answers. People will have, if there's no reviews, if there's no thing for questions, you don't get an answer, don't buy it. It's pretty simple. I mean, even the people who are selling the product can answer those questions. So if you put a question and they don't even want to answer your questions and they're selling the product, then they don't really want to sell it and you don't want to buy it. Um, but you have to make sure that's compatible. That's the biggest thing. Uh, everything else is really on you. Uh, if, they, if they deliver it to you and it works, then we're all good. So it sent me. I put it in my computer. It worked. I had a little bit of issues because I had to know about the RAM going into the white and the black, you have to make sure you get a pack of two in each one. Remember, this is a double memory for you guys. Make sure that if you buy two packs, one pack goes in the black, one pack goes in the white. So you skip one because they put the black, one black, one white, one black, one white on in there. So you put the two pack, the two pack, kind of like that. So thank you so much for coming and watching. Please make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time in my gaming videos.
Hey, if you have an idea for another YouTube video, go ahead and post in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. We couldn't do it without viewers like you. Thank you.